Hi, I'm Daniel right here at the Nokia Singapore office where we are taking a first look at the Nokia PureView 808. The highlight of the Nokia PureView 808 is the camera, so we're going to go right straight to it. It's a camera with a 41 megapixel sensor, and uh, that itself is pretty awesome. But to add it on, you know, Nokia has also partnered with Carl Zeiss, as they've always had, and they put in a five element uh, lens itself, so uh, with great optics as well as this uh, epic 41 megapixel sensor. Um, you know, the, the camera itself takes really uh, amazing photos. And the advantage of having, having a 41 megapixel sensor is because, I mean, if you think about it, most of the time you won't actually be taking pictures at 41 megapixels because the file size will be really, really huge. And, you know, with phones, you want to send them over the internet or Facebook and stuff like that. That's not really very practical. So Nokia's done something called pixel oversampling. So what they actually do is uh, use all of that pixels to determine uh, more accurate uh, pixels for the smaller pictures. So for example, the common resolution that they will be recommending is 5 megapixels. And a 5 megapixel photo is done by combining 7 pixels into 1. So that's why they are able to produce better quality uh, the color, for example. And also there's a reduction of noise, so you get better low light performance. And um, as if the, uh, the, low, the reduction of noise um, doesn't help, they've also packaged it with a Xeon flash. So uh, Nokia's packaged Xeon flashes with previous camera phones as well, but for this particular one, this is the best one they put in so far with a range of up to 3 to 4 meters. So that's an improvement from previous one. And they've also packaged in an LED light for video taking, so uh, you can take uh, videos at night using the LED light. And uh, of course, with 41 megapixels, you know, when it comes to video taking, you don't have really have to worry about that. Definitely get 1080p uh, video because there's more than enough pixels for you to take 1080p videos. Yeah. So this is the camera app on the Nokia PureView 808. So from here we're going to be showing you a little bit more detail into what the phone is capable of doing in terms of photography. It's got three modes. We've got automatic over here, it's got scenes, and you've got something called creative. So automatic and scenes, I don't think I need to describe them. They're pretty, um, you know, they're the usual stuff. Creative mode is what you would normally call manual mode. So uh, it allows you to save up to three presets. So you can save three settings, C1, C2, and C3. And the kind of things that you can change here, over here you can see uh, sensor mode, pure view or full resolution. And pure view is what I was describing just now as you know, the oversampling, the pixel oversampling. This happens at pure view. So um, the optimal resolution that they usually want you to set it, they encourage you to set it is at five megapixels. And so this is where you get the seven pixels combined into one type of thing. And you have eight and two megapixels as well. And uh, this is where it will allow you to do things like uh, the zooming. So for example, if I'm gonna to touch and uh, zoom in like right here, I'm gonna to touch this to focus on the flowers. You can see that, you know, like I mentioned earlier with the oversampling, you know, and because of the 41 megapixels, when you're zooming in, you're not losing any um, quality at all because unlike other digital zooms where they are basically, you know, blowing things up, this is the actual pixels itself, so it's a very sharp photo, um, e even even at you know this zoomed in this far, and so which is kind of uh, pretty impressive itself. So the other thing that we want to show you is the full resolution sensor mode. So this gives you the full resolution that you can you know the, the pixels one pixel for one pixel, right? And there's two aspect ratios, 16 by 9 and 4 by 3, and 4 by 3 is the maximum um, you know in terms of uh, the number of pixels that you can use and take. 4x3 is what gives you the most. So basically, you are using the most amount of pixels in this particular mode right now. And this, these two settings, full resolution and 4x3. And if you notice, it's at 38 megapixels, not at 41. So um, this is the tricky part here. Technically speaking, this phone is a 38 megapixel camera with a 41 megapixel sensor. And how you know this is being explained is that the camera does actually come with a 41 megapixel sensor. The thing is that the sensor is round, so it's a piece, of, it's a circle, and um, you know the the effective pixels that's being used is only 38 megapixels, which you know 38 is really by itself is pretty epic already. So um, 38 megapixel camera with a 41 megapixel sensor. And it's also got a video mode as well, so we can just go there and just push this button right here in the video mode. Exactly the same things, uh, you know, you got your uh, really nice pure view uh, zoom and all your presets and stuff like that. And look at that, look at how sharp the image is. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed by this. 
So you got all the resolutions here, 1080p, 720p, so on and so forth, and uh, pretty much everything else um, is, is the same. But another thing that I wanted to highlight about this camera, this phone itself, I'm calling it a camera already, is that this is, uh, if you take a look at that, uh, not only is the camera pretty powerful, the display is pretty good as well. So just like all of the high-end Nokia phones, this is an AMOLED display. So basically, blacks are really very black, giving you um, very, very vibrant colors on the screen itself. By the way, this phone is powered by Nokia Bell, which is uh, pretty much a Symbian operating system. And so what you can see, when, the moment you connect an HDMI cable, which is sold separately, by the way, um, onto a TV, you get the whole user interface uh, kind of uh, duplicated onto the TV itself. But uh, the application that, that you know, Nokia's been showing us today, which is kind of cool, is something called Big Screen. So I'm going to show you right here. And what that does is that it's no longer mirroring you know, the image on the phone onto the TV. Now it's running a dedicated application for this. And the phone itself becomes some sort of a remote control. And with this, you get a custom user interface for your big screen. That's why it's called a big screen. And allow you to navigate through your videos, your music and photos and stuff like that. And the cool thing about this is that you know the photos and stuff uh, on the, on your phone is usually at a, a res uh, when you see it the resolution of the display is at 640 by 320, so um, you know the the image is kind of like uh, not the highest quality. But you hook it up to the 1080p TV, you get the 1080p full resolution um, when you're looking at it. So you get better, sharper images on the TV. So that's what's cool about it to really see it at much better quality. Um, so you can see here, this is the the video player. By the way, the Nokia Pure View is capable of playing back Adobe encoded audio from you know videos. So if you have a surround sound system and you manage to get video clips which are Dolby surround uh, encoded, you can have like a surround sound audio at home with your HD TV. So that's kind of cool. So now we can go back there and we take a look at the uh, the photo section as well, and you can navigate through the photos. So um, so here we can you can see some of the photos that was taken earlier with the, the phone itself, and uh, we can just gonna scroll through in. And yeah, it's, it's a very nice way to take a look at your photos at really high quality on your HD TV. So that was our first look at the Nokia PureView 808. If you live in Singapore, the phone will be on sale on the 7th of June 2012 for 839 Singapore dollars and will be available in white as well as black. And that was Tech65's first look. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos and visit our website at www.tech65.org. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.